Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out our merch store. We'll have a link in the description for that. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Today is May 15th, 2023. It's just a gorgeous day out. Nice little breeze, sun shining. Just beautiful day. And they're talking some rain later in the week, so we're gonna get these oats in the ground. <clears throat> I don't know if we'll get them all in today, but I'm gonna get started. I think this piece, the aerial map shows it at a little over seven acres. I, I figured my seed and stuff, I figured it at 10 just because uh, it's kind of hilly and stuff and sometimes those maps are a little bit off. But anyway, we got fertilizer on here over the weekend and got that worked in one more time. We got the rocks pretty well picked. We'll probably find a few more, but for the most part, I think we got them taken care of. Um, normally what I do is roll this first and then seed it I'm not going to do that this year I'm gonna drill it in and we'll just hit it with a roller after uh, just kind of a time thing and then I didn't want to get one year I rolled the field and I didn't get it seeded till like the next day and it almost got like a crust on it where the drill didn't want to get the seed deep enough so um, right now we're just going to seed it and we will roll it in after the drill I got the grain drill, this is an old Van Brunt grain drill on the John Deere. Then I got a spike tooth drag I'm gonna pull behind. Normally I had a tire chain, a tractor tire chain I was dragging behind, but I don't know, I had a lot of trouble with that, wanting to roll up and it would catch on these corn stalks and ball up in there. This drag, it's nothing fancy, it's just an old spike tooth. This is a drag, my grandpa used it for years doing the same thing dragging it behind the drill to cover the seed so I know it works for that um, what I'm going to do is I'll unhook it for my first round I'll make a round and then I hook it off set on the drill so it's moved over a little otherwise it's a little bit wider than the drill so I want to make sure my wheel pass isn't getting covered up so anyway I'm going to get that done I got to mark my edge here with the four wheeler quick so I know where to make my road cutting across and then uh, we'll get planting So I got the drag hooked up behind now after I made my first pass. Hopefully this doesn't clog up too bad. I see I have picked up a few stalks, but I think there's some patches out here that have got enough small rock. They'll probably work it out. So anyway, I got the drag hooked to that corner of the drill, which is what we've always did before. And you can see it leaves maybe a foot uncovered and then my wheel track. So then I, when I come around again, that overhang will We'll catch this and it leaves a pretty nice finish behind. It seems like it's covered pretty well. We might have to run over this after we roll it and pick up a few more rocks. Just because when I worked that fertilizer in, I had Paul run over it with that. We set that field cultivator just as deep as it would go to take out the tracks and then that spike tooth behind, but it popped up a few rocks here and there. So whatever the roller doesn't push down, we'll have to come back up and pick. And like I said, it's not too fussy because this isn't being seeded in. When I cut the oats, if I'm gonna combine them, we cut them a little bit high anyway. So if it's something just a little bit sticking up, I'm not too worried about it. But anyway, we will, I'm gonna check and see how much seed I've used here. If I gotta adjust that rate a little bit or not. That's always a tricky thing with, especially, well, I don't know. It doesn't seem to matter new drills or old drills. That's somewhat kind of a guessing game. It all depends on your oats and stuff but uh, this looks like some pretty nice oats. I can't remember what 
variety ogle i think he said is what it was but they're nice looking oats so and i suppose this i think i had uh eight bushel in here they were two bushel bags so we'll see uh like i said it's kind of hard to guess the acre meter doesn't work on this drill so kind of guessing i know you can pull a tube off and you can drive a certain distance and catch what you got and weigh it out and stuff but i just uh this little piece it's not too big of a deal so anyway i'm gonna quit yakking and start seeding we're back up in the field it's the next day it's beautiful out it was pretty i thought it was going to rain this morning when i first got up because it was really cloudy but i guess it's uh smoke out of canada i guess they got a bunch of wildfires up there but so that was i don't mind the rain but i was hoping it would wait till we got done and uh since it wasn't rain i didn't have to worry about it but anyway so i'm just about done out here i seeded few got a few rounds done then i had to go drive bus come back after that and i seated till uh, just before dark i guess and then i come up here this morning after chores and i seated for probably another hour then i had to run the fertilizer spreader back to town and do some stuff but i'm just about done i've just got a maybe two little short passes here in the middle and then it'll be done um i'll have some seed left in there so i'll probably just run around some of these lower spots and stuff that are a little more fertile soil and empty out the drill i wound up i seeded this whole field i just went round and round <coughs> you'll have to excuse me i got kind of a cold so i cough a little bit i wasn't going to go back and forth but then i realized having that drag on the back offset i can't do that because it'll cover up my wheel track when i'm going the one way so we just went round and round but i'll mount the camera here and uh, get a little video of finishing this up That's pieces all seated. I'm just gonna buzz around and uh, empty out the rest of the drill, but that's just gonna be kind of bouncing here and there. Um, then we'll probably get the roller hooked up. Now I can roll this uh, probably this evening <coughs> and get it rolled and it'll be done. All right, we're back up in the field now. It's in the evening after got evening chores done. Um, this is our roller. We got this hooked up to the 1256. This roller is uh, something my grandpa came up with. A friend of mine had these big chunks of pipe. I don't know if they were pipeline pipe or what they were, but it was one long section. And my grandpa wanted to have a roller made, but uh, and he wanted a pretty wide one like this. I mean, there's a lot now. They're 40, 50 feet wide, but. Uh, this is wide enough for what we wanted, but he didn't want one section because we don't have, you know, super steep hills and stuff like that here, but it's a lot of rolling knobs and stuff. And if this was one section, you get between two of those knobs, your center's not gonna get rolled. So this just follows the ground a lot better. <coughs> um, some questions I've had on this roller before, if it was filled with water or anything, if these drums were able to put water in, they're not. Uh, he had thought about doing that, but they wound up weighing quite a bit as it was, and he didn't figure they needed to be any didn't need to be any heavier, and they really don't. I don't know that water would. I mean, it obviously, it would make it heavier, but I don't think it was necessary. 
and then you probably would have had to get heavier bearings and stuff like that if you were going to have that much extra weight if i remember right each one of these wings weighed a thousand pounds and the centerpiece was 11 or 1200 something like that so it definitely pushes the rocks down it's good for crushing pop cans too um anyway so my brother paul's over there he's got the cordless shop back he's just uh cleaning the rest of the oats out of the drill there was just a little bit that didn't get down into the didn't empty out the seed cup so he's getting that done and then we'll get that out of here and start rolling Got it done already. put it on the blowing end and see if it'll blow what's left in them cups out I don't know how much wind that thing has on the but it's that nozzle should fit down in those cups good otherwise I can blow them out with the compressor when we get home you leave any grain in there the flipping mice get in there Good job, Josh. <laughs> 